All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to track phone number clicks, email clicks, or basically any button click and thank you page uh, confirmation. So for example, if somebody submits a form and they go to a thank you page, you can track when that happens or let's say they book a Calendly or whatever. I'm gonna show you how to do that using Google Analytics 4, GA4 and Google Tag Manager. So in the previous video, I showed you how to set up GA4 and Google Tag Manager. If you haven't watched that yet and you haven't set it up, I'm putting the link to that video below this video. So if you click that in the description, you can go watch that first, go do that first and then come back here to do this one. So once you have your GA4 set up with Google Tag Manager, there's a couple things you wanna do. So first off, I've just made an example page here that has a phone number button you can see in the corner there, it's got the, the tell link, the mail to uh, button, which is an email button. And if you click this, it'll open the email software to email you and a thank you button that will redirect to a thank you page. So this is basically just making it as if they submitted a form and then it's forwarding them to the thank you page. I'm going to show you how to track all three of these now. And then you can use the same principle to apply to basically any button or any page view, you know, confirmation or whatever. So the first thing you need to do is in Google Tag Manager, you need to go into the variables and you need to go and just enable all the different variables so that you can see them when someone clicks something. So right now we got page path, page URL and so on. Um, at the beginning, when you just start, you won't have, for instance, all of these under clicks. You wanna go through here and just click all of these and just enable them so that you can actually see them because we're gonna be using the click URL so you want to make sure that you've got that enabled so that you can actually see it. We're also going to use the page URL for the thank you page. So that all you need to do is just click configure, tick them so that they are showing up on this list. Hey guys, real quick, if you run a service company and you'd like to add at least 100 to $300,000 per year in new business guaranteed or you don't pay, just hit the link below to book a call with us and we'll show you exactly how we'll do that for you. Back to the video. Now we need to create the trigger. That's the next step. So you see, I've got one already here for phone number clicks. I'm just going to remove this so that we can do it again. So what you need to do here is you want to go to new and you want to title this, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to call it phone number click and I'm going to click tag configuration. And here you want to click just links. So click just links. And now some link clicks and now you need to select how you want to configure this. So the easiest way to do it, that's the most reliable is to go to click URL contains and then put tell if we're doing for the phone number. So basically whichever link you want to track, you want to make sure that you put the URL that's in that link that they've clicked in here. So for instance, if you want to track all tell phone clicks, like this phone number button, you can see that the link will always start with tell and then the colon. So you would just put tell colon to do phone number. Um, theoretically, if you wanted to track specific phone numbers, you could probably just, you could just put this phone number in here, the specific phone number, and then just track the specific phone number, but I'm just tracking them in general. So what you want to do is, like I said, put that in there, make sure it says contains, you could also do starts with in this case, but I'm just going to do contains and then hit save. So now this is set up as a trigger. You can see here, and then you want to go into tags and in tags, you want to make a new tag. So here you want to click, type in the same thing, phone number click. And now you want to go tag configuration, GA4 event. So you've made the trigger. Now this tag is going to read that trigger and then send that trigger to Google Analytics. So what you want to do is select where you want it to be sent. So in this case, I'm going to do it to my GA4 tag. And then you want to name it, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to call it phone number click. Whoops. All right. And then you want to go to, you can basically leave most of those you can usually leave those in most cases hit triggering and now you want to just select the one that you you did the trigger that you made so in this case it's phone number clicks you want to click that one and then you just want to hit save 
So now this is basically set up. So now we want to test this. So you want to hit submit here and just publish this. All right, so now it's published. Now we want to preview this and make sure it's actually working and then it's actually being received in, in analytics. So what we'll do is we'll go back here, back to the main window and then hit preview. And now it's going to open the Google Tag Assistant. I'm just going to set it to the URL of my page example so that it goes on there. So now it's going to open the page close these two so now we've got the page here we'll just wait for the tag assistant to pop up all right it's connected so now if we go here continue you can see that the Google tag has fired but the phone number click has not fired yet that's because we haven't clicked it so now let's click it I'm just gonna cancel that and now we should have phone number click tag fired you see under tags fired it's moved now usually here under link click if you click enough of these, you should see one of them show up. So for this instance, we have phone number click showing up under tags as it has fired. So now, because that seems to have worked, if we go here in the Google Analytics tag, you should also see here phone number click and then hit send. So now to test it, this is actually getting to Google Analytics. You want to open Google Analytics and go to debug view. So the way you do that is you would select your property go into the property, go into the settings here on the right. So let's say you, you select the property you ended up at home. Here, um, you want to select admin down here. And then you want to go to scroll down the middle and hit debug view. And now this is going to show you live the, the events firing because Google Analytics sometimes requires about 24 hours to show the data in the actual report. So this will show it to you live. So you can see here the phone number click is actually here already. But what I'm going to zoom, do is I'm going to click it again to show you how it shows up. So if we go back to the page, I'm going to click phone and quickly go back to here, Google Analytics. And we should see another one pop up just now that says phone number click. Just give it a second. And there you go. It's popped up phone number click. So this is now tracking as an event in Google Analytics. So now, if you want to track this as a conversion, what you need to do is go back here to the admin panel and you've got events over here. Click that. And now it's going to list out all your events. So now it might not show it because you've just made it. And it looks like it doesn't show it yet. But basically what you want to do is once it shows up, it should show up by the end of the day, usually. You want to go here and click mark as conversion. So you would hit that. And so now what's going to happen is when you've done that, when you go into conversions, it's going to show up as a conversion. So you'll have page view here. You see that? So I'm going to undo it because I don't want that, but that would happen. It would show up there. So now what will happen is once you've enabled this, if you go into reports, and then go into the conversions tab, you're going to now see these events popping up as conversions. So you'd go under engagement and then go conversions and you will see just the ones you selected. It's probably not going to show up here because there are none, but it would show up here as conversions. So that's why you want to do that because if you go to events, it's going to show you all the different default um, events. You see here page view, session start, whatever, and it gets really messy but it, you can select which ones you want to show up as conversions and they'll only those ones will show up under conversions. So now we've got the phone number set up the phone number click. Let's do the same thing with the email and with the, with the thank you page. So the same thing we just did, we want to do the same thing for the email. So we'll go back to Google tag manager, go back to triggers. So now we make another new trigger. And this one, I'm just going to call it email click and we would do exactly the same thing again. So we choose the trigger type, just clicks, some clicks, click URL equal uh, contains mail to colon, because that's the URL of the email. You see at the beginning, it's got mail to. So again, you could theoretically include the whole uh, email if you wanted to have 
the whole thing and track the specific ones. I just want to track the button clicks in general. So I'm just going to do this. So again, we hit save, go to tags. Again, new tag. Just going to call it email clip. And in this case, again, GA4 event, select the tag, scroll down to triggering, hit the one you just made, which is email click, save. Oh, I forgot to put the event name. So yeah, you want to do event name and obviously name the event. Um, I'm just calling it email click again, save. Now it should work. All right, cool. So now, e now the new event is here, email click, you can see it. So again, you want to submit this, publish. And now what we'll do is I'm going to close this preview one and I'm going to reopen it again. So now we want to do the same thing we did. We want to test it. So close that, go back to the workspace, hit preview. And now you want to put the URL in. It should be automatically probably what the last one that you put in will be there. Um, hit connect. It's going to open it. And now we can test them the email one. Okay, so this is loaded. You can see the tag is fired. So now I'm gonna hit email. And you can see here tag fired email. And if we go here, you can see email click hit sent. And if we go to analytics debug, it should now pop up here as well. See page view is showing up as a conversion because I selected it earlier, but I'm gonna turn it off. And here we have email click. So once you've added it as a conversion, this is actually a good example. It's going to show up as this green icon with the flag in this debug view. So that that's showing this here because just earlier I clicked on page view to track its conversions, if you remember. So that's why it does that. So you want to, once you've added these as conversions, you want to make sure that they're actually showing up as the green flag as well to make sure that that's actually counting as a conversion. I have had instances where there's some kind of glitch where it's counting the event, but it's not showing every single one of them as a conversion. So just make sure that it is. So now we can see that the email click is tracking. I'm just going to go quickly and just disable that other conversion because I don't want that to be the case. The page view, turn that one off. Let me just see if it's by any chance popped up so that we can, unfortunately not yet. So it hasn't popped up yet, so we can't select it, but it will be later. All right, so this means now that the email click and the phone number are now tracking correctly. Um, so those two are now done. Now we can do the thank you page. So for the thank you page, it's going to be slightly different. Hang on, I'm just going to close these. So for the thank you page, we need to go back to triggers, but now we're going to be doing it based on the page URL because it's not necessarily a link click. And the reason why is because if they're coming from a form or they're coming from, let's say a Calendly redirect or something like that, you need to track the URL of the page, not necessarily a link click. Theoretically, you could also do a link click depending on how they get to that page, but it's going to be easiest to do it this way. So for this one, I'm going to go, um, let's just say call booked in this case, because in, in my instance, the only way they're going to get there is they're only going to get there by booking a call through Calendly. So if you did form submit, you could do like form submitted or something like that. So in this case, you want to do that and then hit trigger configuration page view. And now go some page views. And now you want to do page URL contains slash thank you or whatever the page is. So my one is thank you. If I type in dominate marketing slash thank you. You'll see that this is the thank you page I made. So I want them to track every time somebody lands on this. So it's thank you. So if your URL is different, you would select your URL and then put that in there. So you could theoretically put the whole thing. I'm just going to put the contain slash thank you because that's all it needs without the end slash. Because if you put this one with the end slash, what's going to happen is if, if somebody lands on the page without the end slash, it probably won't track. So just make sure you don't include the end slash. So you go contains thank you, hit save on that one. And now we want to go back to triggers and we want to do new trigger call booked. Same thing here, Google analytics event, J4 event, select the tag, put the name call booked trigger. 
and now you want to select the one you just made. So call booked, save. All right, so now submit this. You could probably preview this before you submit it actually, but I just do it this way. And then we'll go to preview and make sure it's working. So we'll remove this one, go back to the workspace. Sometimes it's a bit buggy. All right, now hit preview. So we're gonna go back, do the same thing again, make sure it's working. So we'll go connect with, to the URL. All right, so now we're on the page. We wanna make sure that it's connected, make sure that the tag's fired, which it has, J4 tag. All right, now I'm gonna hit thank you. So this is now simulating as if they've submitted the form and landed on the thank you page or booked the call landed on the thank you page. So now you can see that the tag booked call has fired. If we click this one, call booked has fired. And now if we go to debug view, we should see that here as well, having just fired. Book call booked is fired as well. So now you can see that all the events are firing and they're working correctly. Google Analytics is tracking them all. So that's how you set them up. So you would go through the same process and set up all the different ones that you want to set up. If you're only tracking these three, then these, these three are the only three you'll need. Typically, these are the three that I do for most businesses that just take emails, phone calls. Um, that's usually all you'll need. If you're tracking like purchases and things like that, you're going to have to find how exactly you do that. So this is more specifically just for these instances. Um, but that's how you do that. So now the last step would be, you'd come back later in the day or tomorrow, come in here, see events. And then mine are not showing yet because I've just set them up. So you're going to find they won't show. But like I said, come back here. And what, what will happen is you will see the ones you just added in here under existing events. And so you would just go and just mark as conversion all the ones you want to add as conversions, like I mentioned earlier in the video. And then what's going to happen is all of those are going to show up in the conversions report, the ones that you mark. So that's how you can filter out all these like standard conversion events you don't want to track. So that's it. That's how you set up tracking for phone numbers, emails, and form submissions in GA4 with Google Tag Manager.